Okay, let's move on to 425 p.m. Eastern. San Francisco 49ers at Arizona Cardinals. Niners 2-2, 2-0 and and on the road. Cardinals 4-0, 1-0 at home at State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona. The Cardinals open up as four-and-a-half-point favorites. That's moved in their direction. Fives, now five-and-a-halves. Pinnacle still hanging the five every other book at five-and-a-half. There's total dropping. Opens at 53-and-a-half, now down to 50 at some books. 49-and-a-half at Bet Online. Jesus, that's a four-point move at Bet Online. Wow. Let's move over to the cash flow in this Niner spot. 5,396 tickets in. 61% of the tickets on Arizona. 88% of the cash on Arizona. 38% of the tickets on the under. 49% of cash on the under. Niners come in off a 28-21 home loss to the Seahawks on Sunday. The Psalm lose Jimmy G to a calf injury. He's expected to be out at least two weeks. He was 14-23 for 165 yards, one touchdown, one pick before he left the halftime. Trey Lance came in, was 9 for 18 for 157 yards, two touchdowns, zero interceptions. One of those receptions was a 76-yarder. Touchdown pass to Debo Samuel, who did look excellent with both quarterbacks, catching eight passes for 156 yards and two touchdowns. So Lance throws the 76-yard TD pass to Debo, but the Niners only crossed midfield one other time other than that TD with a minute 20 left that really did nothing other than make the score respectable. Uh, Trey Sermon did exactly what you said he would, Bebzy, and – you know, when I watched him do it, I wished that you were on that sermon prop because you nailed it with him. Best game in the NFL, 19 carries for 89 yards. The Niners held Seattle to three and outs for their first five drives but could only take a 7-0 lead. Robbie Gold injured his groin in warm-ups and was unavailable. It was pretty ugly to – you know, when the punter comes in and can't hit 41 yards, I mean, it was just, it was a tough break. A gold's being diagnosed with a strained groin, and he's expected to be placed, you'll know better than me, but he's expected to be placed on the injured reserve any minute. He, uh, he's on injured reserve. He's on the injured reserve. Left tackle Trent Williams left in the second half with a shoulder injury. He's considered day to day. Defensive end Arden Key was evaluated for a concussion. Kittle caught four passes for 40 yards. He's been diagnosed with a calf injury. Kwan Williams, Josh Norman missed the Seahawks game. They remain questionable. Eliza Mitchell missed the game as well and is questionable to go in this week. Cardinals entered as the only enter as the only undefeated team in the NFL. It's their longest perfect start since 2012. They haven't won the division or had a winning record since 2015. Coming off an impressive 37-20 win at previously unbeaten Rams, they put up 465 yards on last year's number one defense. After opening up with a punt, the Cardinals scored on seven of eight possessions. Kyler Murray, 24, 32 for 268 yards, two touchdowns, zero picks. He also ran six times for 39 yards. A.J. Green, five receptions for 67 yards and a touchdown. DeAndre Hopkins, four receptions for 67 yards and a touchdown. Max Williams, five receptions for 66 yards and a touchdown. Chase Edmonds was a monster running the ball, 12 carries for 120 yards. He also caught four passes for 19 yards. When I look at all these weapons at wide receiver, it reminds me of what we were saying about the Raiders last week. Connor ran 18 times for 50 yards. Their defense got five hits on Stafford without getting a sack. Byron Murphy did get an interception. This is a dangerous, healthy group. Dennis Garcia says, took plus four and a half with the Niners. We'll add to it. We'll wait to see if it's six shows. I'll probably bet the over, especially if it gets below 50. Don't really know how you make Arizona totals this low. Burgundy bet says, Bebsy, what the hell's happening with Ayuk? With Trey Lance looking to start, is this the week we take his props? Bebsy, take it away. Cardinals at home to the Niners. Uh, I mean, Ayuk had a quiet week this week. He had a great week the week before. Um, but I, I don't know what's going on there. Part of it is how well Debo's playing. Debo's leading the league in uh, yards and yards after the catch. I think he's got three touchdowns now. He's Debo's looking great, um, but there are serious question marks. The biggest one being, you know, everyone's talking about Jimmy G and Trey Lance. Uh, to me, the bigger thing right now is Trent Williams. Uh, Trent Williams being out uh, would mean a rookie in Jalen Moore going up against Chandler Jones. Uh, we saw what Chandler Jones can do against an underprepared tackle. In week one, he was an absolute monster. Um, so it's 
his his playing is very very important the way this goes. Elijah Mitchell should be ready to go. They released two of the running backs they signed. Uh, he was questionable for last week with a shoulder thing. I think he goes this week, and you'll see the Mitchell and Sermon show. Um, and I believe they'll get Josh Norman back. Although you know, Drake or Patrick didn't play terrible football, which uh, surprised me to say the least. Uh, but looks like Trey Lance is going to play. He He's not ready. Uh, as most of these rookie quarterbacks have looked, they don't look ready. Um, but he is a supreme, supreme athlete, as we've seen, uh, you know, we saw at North Dakota State. And, you know, th this kid can fly. Uh, and for such a big dude, he's a pretty shifty runner. So that'll cause a wrinkle in Arizona. Now, something fun, just as a, uh, as a 49ers uh fan noticing that the Niners always beat the Cardinals when they're good and lose to the Cardinals when they're bad. Uh, it's a really weird thing that keeps happening time and again with them. Uh, I would not put money on the Cardinals in this, especially with just like the Niners being shit on this week. Uh, so it's a tough spot for the cards, but that said this, this, you know, Kyler Murray has been looking great. There are so many different weapons on this offense right now. Um, but I wouldn't have any confidence betting on them. I, the big thing is I would wait and find out what's happening with Trent Williams. Um, and, yeah, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to be Trey Lance getting the start, although uh, Garoppolo has said because it's only a calf contusion, he might be ready to go. Now Garoppolo is going to be inspired to play because he knows that if Trey Lance goes in and lights it up, He's never playing another game in that 49ers jersey. So I think he'll be motivated to play. Those are two two massive question marks going into this game. I think you're right about Trent Williams. I also think that we can sit back and wait. We talk about fading a team off a season-defining victory. Feels like the Cardinals had that last week. It and the Niners matter. are coming off a salty loss. Yeah. Uh, a very tough spot for the cards. Brady says, how can, Brady says, how can the cards prepare for the 49ers here? Lance gets a full week of practice. Cards coming off a huge win. Niners money line in play. Lean the under here. Flat spot for the Cardinals. 49ers will run, run, then run some more. Yeah, I, he's, he's spot on right now. And, uh, birdie, I mean, and, uh, yeah, he's saying posturing Bebsy. Uh, you may say Jimmy may play. Hi, my dog is trying to get her two cents in as well. Uh, but uh, yeah, they do. The cards have to prepare for both guys. And I don't know which one's better right now. Uh, Jimmy is a little more uh, reliable, gets the ball out quicker. Um, but, you know, Trey Lance is electric. And he's got a big bomb, and he can throw to the outside, and he can open up Shanahan's playbook. It's just whether he has the confidence right now or not. And uh, Trent Williams has a lot to do with that. I don't know about you, but if I was facing Chandler Jones, I would way rather have Trent Williams than a rookie left tackle out there. I think that's the most important aspect of this football game from a betting standpoint. Will Trent Williams be there to protect Trey Lance? who may or may not be ready. Uh, Iceman57 says, Lance better have his dental records handy after J.J. Watt and Chandler Jones are through. Well, that won't be an issue if Trent Williams is there. So, Brady says, if I was a 49ers fan, I'd be very excited right now. Harold Williams says, y'all going to learn about the Cardinals. This is the perfect spot to bet against the Cardinals. We know that about betting. They're coming off beating the team that beat the Super Bowl champions on the road. Now, I wish it wasn't a divisional football game. It'd be much better if the Cardinals were coming home to play a team from a different conference. The fact that it's a divisional game against the Niners may keep them sharper than I'd like them to be. But there's – look, I could be wrong here. Cardinals could win by 20. But – I don't see a way that the Cardinals aren't going to be overvalued after that win last week. 
Also, and, the Niners in their last ten road games are seven and three, and they're one and nine at home over the last ten. Mind you, a ton of that has to do with injuries and who's been starting a quarterback, but some food for thought for those of you in the chat. Well, Trent Williams is a key for me. It's so, big. And yeah. I think he will go, uh, but he he's so important. And let's say, okay, quickly before we put a bow on this, Trent Williams is playing expectations of Trey Lance. I think we'll see more of what we've seen from him in preseason and what we've seen in him in limited snaps. Uh, like, look, he came in, he was obviously extremely nervous. He saw his first two passes were terrible. He just chucked one right into the dirt. Then he threw another one behind, but uh, Trey Lance settles down as the game goes on. Uh, I think he'll get off to a rocky start. Um, but as soon as he lets his athleticism uh, into the game, and, and Shanahan is is trying to protect him. I don't know if that's the right strategy or not. Who am I to say Shanahan has forgotten more about football than I'll ever know? Uh, but if he turns him loose, I we see him rolling out more. When he gets into space, he becomes extremely dangerous. And look, he he evaded the pass rush well last week. And you know, as soon as you saw him take off, like for a guy as big as him, he he moves fast. He had the little chip in his shoulder, and he recorded faster speeds running than Lamar Jackson did. Uh, the difference being Trey Lance is you know six five two thirty. Uh, so he's a big boy, but he could move. Um, so I expect a rocky start from him. Um, and if Trey Lance is the starter, uh, you know, first quarter Arizona would be my look. Um, but full game, I don't know. I I, I I wouldn't bet on Cardinals full game. I'll put it to you that way. Well, this is going to be so much fun. It's going to be fun when we talk about it again on Sunday in the NFL Pub Hub show. Trent Williams is the main factor in this game for me. Niners, Cardinals. I would like to bet against the Cardinals after a victory like last week's. I want to bet against every team that has a season-defining injury all year long, and they would have worked every single game except for Chargers against Raiders.